Hello everyone, my name is Sanjaraj and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I just wanted to make a quick video on how to use the map method in React. Now I know I did make a video on the map method in JavaScript. I mean kind of if you didn't watch that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. But uh, regardless, using the map method in React is kind of different and the way you access the state and JSON data and objects and arrays using the map method is kind of different in react than in javascript so i wanted to make a quick video on that so let's just get started i'm using visual studio here so you should hope uh, all have all the files and folders here so if you don't have that open up your terminal you can click on new terminal right here it will be right there and you could just type npx create react app and you could just name your app anything you want and then click on enter it will uh, get all of the files for you so you'll be greeted with this when you go to app.js app.js is in source and you can click on app.js inside the app.js i'm going to be deleting the whole function we're going to be using a class pool component in order to access the state so i'll say class app because that's exactly what we are exporting i'll say class app extends react.component and then we want to render whatever we return onto the screen so when you're using classful component uh, you you will need to put render method and return we're not going to be using any props so you don't need to put the constructor and super in order to get the props so inside the render method i'll just use a state as an example and i'll say this dot state equals an object i'll put a random name there and just say john and in the return method i'll create a h1 and i'll put the curly braces and get this dot state dot name so why i'm using this dot state dot name because we're getting this dot state on the render method right here and we are returning it here so we need to use curly braces in order to render some javascript so if i refresh the web page right here you guys can see it's john but we're not mapping anything out right so we're just using the normal name and we are putting it in curly braces we're wrapping it around uh, h1 so how do you use a map method so in case you're dealing with an api or lots of data in a say a data.json file which is like locally stored in your react files uh, say you will obviously have an array of objects so i'll just put some objects right here i'll say name john I'll put age of seven and I'll copy and paste this uh, around two to three times to show you guys how the map method actually does work. So I'll copy this, I'll paste it twice. Uh, right here, I'll put a comma. I'll change this to my name. I'll put the age to 17. Um, put John, put 27. So say you want to render all of these three objects onto screen and you don't want to use like the same thing each and every time and put a zeroth element and second element and stuff. What you can actually do is I'm going to delete this whole thing. I'm going to creating a div because uh, we are doing JSX here. So if you want to re return multiple elements, you want to return through the div or one JSX element. So I'm put a, I'll wrap it around a div and inside the div what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be writing some actual JavaScript code about an h1 so inside this not an h1 I cut the h1 so what you want to do in order to map out you want to put a curly braces obviously like map method in JavaScript you want to map out the state so this dot state dot map and then you put the function so inside this there are there is a first argument that you want to put which is going to define the variable you're going to give for each and every object so for each and every object you could give a name right here so i'll just say user info and I'll get an arrow function in order to return something from this map method so i want to return an h1 which is going to contain the name and also a span which contains the age so inside the h1 i'm going to say you would normally put this dot state dot age but here we are mapping it out to each object so we can easily and just directly access 
each object by just saying user info so basically the user info is just this object if you want to get that and you said object info is just each object so I'll just map it out with the h1 saying user info dot name and if I save it you guys can see each and every name right here I'll just change this to Jane as you guys can see all the three names are being mapped out because we are accessing uh, different like each and every object by giving it a parameter of um, user info now you could do this in multiple different ways you could also put a span tag and I'll write some JavaScript saying user info and we want to get the age and if I do that it won't work because you want to wrap it around a div so uh, copy that exactly like you're saying like I said you could uh, wrap it in an enclosing tag so there's two ways you could do it you could put react.fragment which you don't like kind of need to put a class name or anything but you could also put just a normal div so I'll put a normal div here inside this I'll paste it so as you guys can see each and every name and the age specifically of that object is written so age 7 age 17 for me and age 27 for Jane so if I do just want to change the state I could just set state right here I could just put some curly braces I could just say this dot state uh, this dot set state and stuff just right here but that's not the aim of, that's not the aim of this video but basically the map method is just easy as that as you guys might have noticed that are kind of a little bit different differentiation because uh, like kind of using it from JavaScript and also in react so that's about for the video guys if you kind of do want to build any projects with react or something I do have um, a playlist of react tutorials I mean a two two videos on react so if you want that I'll leave a playlist link in the description also if you like the video make sure to leave a like if you have any friends who do code and stuff so make sure to share it with them and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time